Well, here's that gate. It's four foot eight tall, three foot two inches wide. The inside is routed out. The design is actually routed in there. Um, sure wish I had Izzy Swan's big CNC machine, but uh, you want to see how I do it? Check it out. So I'm starting here. I have some 10 foot 2 by 6s. I'm cutting them down to 5 foot each. Now I'm just taking off of the little rounded edges to get a good glue joint. I do that on both sides of all the boards. And glue up. At this point I'm out having it. After the glue's all dry, um, I don't want it really smooth, but I do want the drips off and the glue line kind of straight. So I used a 60 grit paper. That'll also help add texture to the look that's going to I just use the old jigsaw to cut the shape out of the top. Typical Southwest style. Notches and steps. I'm sure they're just cool words back down for you. They're just using the router and a little sled. The sled rides across, you know, the whole thing. The edges are it's got a four foot inch around or, or four inch lip around it all and that's what the sled's riding on. That way I can route out all the middle and not fight it too much. So as you can see there's a whole lot of hogging out to do. There's the final design. A lot of cleanup. Alright, so there it was. Now I didn't show um, routing the edges or doing any of the sanding inside. Uh, I used a half inch chamfer bit on the inside edges um, to go around everything with the, with the roughness of clearing all that out with the router bit. Um, it left lots of good grooves and edges which is the look I was going for kind of gives it that hand carved feel and then sanded the inside just to kind of get rid of any swirls and any circles left by the bit um, again to, to give it that old hand carved looks like it's been around for a hundred years now the customers gonna do the finishing on it hopefully I'll be able to get some pictures once he gets that done and mounted um, so that's that's how it was. I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, took I don't know quite a bit of time to to route all of that out to to hog out all that material. Um, but with it being in the desert and exposed and uh, got a lot of movement, it's going to warp a little bit. And I wanted the whole pattern to warp with it. Um, or split or crack or do whatever instead of putting the design on top and gluing it or nailing it or screwing it. So that's why I chose to do it that way. Uh, that and I think it looks really really good. In fact I have another another blank on the workbench because I'm going to replace a couple gates of my own in that same same kind of style. Not with the Z symbol but with something. So. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like, share, subscribe. Check out my website. Uh, buy a shirt. I need to buy myself a shirt. So y'all go buy a shirt. That way I can get my own self a shirt for free. My own self. My own self buy a shirt for free. Mm -hmm. Alright, so anyway. Uh, y'all have a good day.